apparently since I could walk and talk, I was just obsessed with horses, which is strange because no one else in my family like horses, have anything to do with horses. I'm just the odd one out. And my family have been really supportive with that. So I started riding lessons when I was about eight. Just a friend of my dad's, you know, I'd go out every sat Saturday afternoon for about half an hour. She'd taught me how to steer and, you know, heels down and the basics. After being at Sam's for a couple of months, Sitting Bull came into work and as soon as I saw him, I just fell in love with him. Hey Bull, he's my boy. <laughs> and he was always my favourite to strap and favourite to see every morning and favourite to get out. You always always have to have a rearing bit on him <laughs> when you get out of his yard because he could be a bit full of himself, and which I like, you know what I mean? He's just got character and he's not scared of anything, he's tough. Well, I remember thinking to myself, What's going to happen when he retires? I'm going to be so sad. And I almost got a tear in my eye thinking about him not being around. So then I thought I'd better say something to Sam. Like, I do definitely want him when he's done. He's like, oh, he was surprised. He's like, I'll talk to the owners for when he's retired. And then the time come for him to retire and the owners knew how much I love him as well. So they were happy for me to have him, which is great. The assistance package that, because I saw it I've advertised, I think it was on Facebook or something, and I thought, I wonder if that's something that I could get it after recently getting him. So I applied that day and I actually got an email back from John the same day, which was really good. And it's been really helpful for someone like me who actually hasn't owned a horse since I was about 16. So but there's just a few certain things, you know, that they recommended, like the feed and the supplements to put him on, and he loves it. And he's looking and feeling really well. So it's been very helpful. We're here today with, with Jess who's just taken Sitting Bull off, uh, uh, who's just retired and she's taken him on as her forever horse and it's fantastic with what we see here that she had that, that sort of link with that horse during his racing days and formed some sort of bond with him and now um, he's getting the care and uh, everything that he deserves in his later life so we're really pleased to see that and we're really pleased to be on board and offering that assistance to, to help with this what we've tailored it for, for horses that are just leaving the industry now. So if you're taking a horse that's just leaving a racing stable or, or recently retired, please go on our website and have a look at this um, application form and get it in and we'll, we'll have a chat.